But um, the ecstatic is important to me. I mean, I, I read a poem called Duende. Mm. It's one of my earliest poems in the Mud Actor. And when I was growing up, my, my most important teacher was my Spanish teacher, Concepcion mm. Hornbaum, who introduced me to the poetry of Garcia Lorca, mm -hmm. who remains my favorite poet, right? But Lorca has this concept of the duende, and the, the word duende literally means goblin, like mm -hmm. hobgoblin. And it's, it's a term used in um, flamenco culture if the person is dancing with particular intensity mm -hmm. or playing the guitar with a particular intensity. Mm -hmm. They say that person has duende, duende, right? So I was trying to think of something that I had done um, that had duende in it. <laughs> and all I could think about was when I was a little boy, my father used to put on Ravel's bolero. It's a, it's a piece of classical music that's very repetitive and monotonous. It gets more and more intense until it kind of explodes at the end, right? And I would dance around like a dervish. And it was kind of like a form of family entertainment. It's like, oh, look what my son can do. So that has a real bit of ecstasy to it. So I've had this kind of strain in my mm -hmm. being and myself since I was a kid. And it shows itself, I think, um, in the sensibility of the work. It, when I think about ecstatic, I also think about celebratory. Mm -hmm. But my work is also very insistent on addressing trauma mm -hmm. and actual real difficulty in mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. and tends to kind of weigh them together or, or uh, you know, balance between the two, two dimensions of, of um, our lives here. Yeah.